Hello crypto community and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, then you are in the right place. Today we're going to be talking about XDZ. We're going to be looking at some new partnerships. We're going to watch videos on RWA. And we are going to be talking about SBI and Securitize. So I hope you will watch to the end. We shall continue right after this intro. Looking at coin market cap, currently Bitcoin just above 61k, Ethereum at 3.4k, and the rest of the market is pretty much in the red, guys. We've got small percentage gains, so nothing interesting happening right now because everything is in the red because of what is happening in the world. Looking at the XDC chart, currently ranging between 3 3.1 cents. Once again, guys, we are waiting for that switch to be flipped. And once that happens, you're going to realize how big this opportunity is because we are attacking some massive markets, which we are going to be covering shortly. Looking at some news for crypto, looking at a tweet from Watcher.Guru. Just in, Bolivia lifts ban on Bitcoin and crypto payments, officially making it legal for financial entities. Now, guys, this is just the beginning, right? More and more countries are going to start to adopt crypto payments because crypto allows them to move value seamlessly by exchanging the crypto to another fiat. This is why we need crypto because it's going to solve a lot of the value and RWA trade finance problems that we have in the world today. I think XDC definitely fits right in because Bitcoin is always mentioned as you know because it's the alpha for now. But once we have utility take over, once we have that bull run, then you will see more and more mentions of the triple x coins to begin with and so many others that we cover on this channel and the other channel and before we continue guys if you're not already subscribed to my crypto utility channel i only talk about utility on that every single day so please subscribe now the link is at the top of the video looking at a tweet from mr man crypto and blockchain lawyer irene ahiva believes newly released regulations in the uae may prohibit crypto payments in the country now guys we've heard this too many times now over my seven or eight year history in holding crypto i have seen numerous countries talk about blocking crypto or they've kind of prohibited crypto from being used they've said it's a scam they're not going to be using crypto but we know what the end game is we know that the end game is crypto being adopted globally which is why the MICA regulations are coming in. If they didn't believe in crypto, why would something as big as the Europe area decide on adopting crypto and legislation to promote crypto? Because I think regulations are going to be promoting how legitimate crypto is. Because I honestly think that regulations are going to be promoting how legitimate crypto is to the world. So this is why I always say utility is going to win the day. I've heard it many times from the big boys as well that if your crypto has utility, if it solves a real world problem, depending on how big the market opportunity is, in the case of XDC, it's a quadrillion dollar market, then your crypto will survive and it's going to be valued very high to be adapting the value for the whole world. So guys, be prepared. Looking at a tweet from Securitize, congratulations to Mountain USDM on incorporating BlackRock's Biddle fund tokenized by Securitize into its USDM reserves. This is a major step forward for the adoption of Biddle, showcasing the power of RWA tokenization products and how institutions are driving forward innovation in the stablecoin space. So let's first of all talk about who Mountain USDM are. So USDM is the first regulated yield bearing stablecoin. Now guys, we've got more and more stable coins coming out from the banks themselves. This is why when I talk about USDT dying, I've been talking about USDT dying for a number of years now. Many people have said, no, it's not going to happen. But now we have uphold delisting USDT and it's just the beginning. I think more and more banks, more and more institutions are going to take note of that and USDT is going to lose. But we're going to be talking about what's going to happen if USDT dies because right now, Bitcoin, which runs the market, is highly tied to the rest of the crypto space. So we're going to be talking about that shortly. 
And this news about BlackRock mounting protocols securitized, what does it mean? It means we are moving forward in this adoption of crypto. They call them stable coins because they contain a stable value. But guys, it's all related to crypto. Stable coins are going to play an important role. But like I said, not many of them are going to survive. So we have to pay attention to what is actually happening. Utility is the only way to win the day. USDT is made from printed money that is just created from thin air. This is why it's got to go. This is why I say utility is going to win because if you don't have a use case, why would you need to exist? Same thing applies to crypto here. That's why I say XDC is the one because we are connected to BlackRock and Securitize as that one blockchain out of the four they have chosen. We are the best solution because we are better in every single way. And if you want to know why we're better, energy consumption, fees that we charge, how fast we are, how secure we are. That's just four of the beginning numbers. We win everything overall anyway. Looking at a tweet from SBI XDC Network APAC region. The new law in Japan to digitize bills of lading will revolutionize international trade by reducing paperwork burdens and streamlining essential trade practices. Leading this change, SBI is at the forefront with the formation of SBI XDC APAC, driving innovation and efficiency in the industry. So it's good to see Sunil Senapati being involved with many regions in the world right now promoting xdc promoting the technology behind xdc because xdc is leading the damn charge for digitization not just for paperwork not just for tokenization all the value in the damn world and now i see guys why this is all happening xdc is out there presenting to all the big boys around the world the one and only solution because everybody knows xdc is wanted XTC is at these events because it needs to be at these events because it is the only damn solution at the moment. And when we talk about how huge this opportunity is, you guys already know it's a multi quadrillion dollar opportunity once everything is on the damn blockchain. And this is just a small market, but it's worth still a couple of trillion digitizing paperwork for trade finance. It's a huge opportunity that XTC will be easily solving. So let's talk about why Japan is so huge. We've got Yoshi Takakitao, the CEO of SBI, who's already connected to XTC. They're working on a partnership already, right? For value movement. I don't think you're going to have one crypto worth hundreds of trillions. It's going to be a few that are going to be worth hundreds of trillions each. And they're going to be sharing a different part of this problem that we have. So this is what's going to happen. Japan, a massive industry waiting to go live. And my point in mentioning this article was the fact that they mentioned 2025. I think 2025 is also going to be a huge year for crypto and its adoption for institutions because retails can't really move the price. All right. And institution demand is going to move the price for our beloved cryptos. So we need to pay attention to 2024 because I think everything's going to start wrapping up about regulations for crypto. And in 2025, maybe we are going to start to get that real world adoption. Looking at a tweet from the great Martis crash alert. 1929 versus 2024. Don't be alarmed if it gets much worse. A complete financial cleansing is overdue. So when we look at this chart, guys, we've got the Dow Jones being compared 1929 versus 2024. As we can see on the right side, a similar pattern is building on the left side, right? Similar pattern to the right. So the old chart shows you how low they actually went. And this is why I keep on telling my people that be prepared for anything. Because I honestly said that many times before this, that a red zone for crypto is going to get even bigger. We are going to have that crash. And when I talk about USDT crashing and dying, Bitcoin highly correlated to USDT, Bitcoin is going to die as well. So you might get a big downfall for Bitcoin. And what's going to happen to the rest of the crypto markets? Yes, everything else is going to drop. We might see XDC to its lowest point ever seen. But you know what happens then? I'm going to back the truck up and load up on my favorite cryptos. That's the plan. DCAN, when this happens, because I think it is going to happen because it's history, right? It repeats itself. So it's all a show, guys. Enjoy the show. Just be aware what's incoming. Don't be disheartened because once this big fall happens, we are going to get the rise of utility. Looking at attribute from Bond Crypt. Everything of value in the world will be tokenized. When it does, it will create massive wealth. So guys, we have a short clip to watch. 
it's not xrp connected because i think it also affects xdc and xlm as well but we know that xdc since its inception has been focusing on rwa we now have the xrp community coming in and talking about rwa as if they were the first ones in no i don't think so maybe xrp was the first one through the gate for value movement for cross borders but i think this opportunity for rwa is much bigger than cross value i think xdc is definitely going to do very well i have no doubts that xrp is going to be up there as well but we're going to watch this short clip before we continue so we can understand what this guy is saying Find every collectible car every piece of real estate every private business every everything everything of value in the world will eventually be a token this adoption of technology this evolution it's not a revolution it's an evolution of technology that everything of value will be a token on a blockchain not a coin not a thing it's literally a line item on a public ledger everything of value will be that and every transaction of value will happen in digital assets you don't need the pieces of paper wipe out all of dtcc which processes 1.8 quadrillion dollars a year that is a large number that will all move to digital and when it does it will create massive wealth the greatest wealth creation opportunity i'm gonna see in my life so the message is clear guys from this video as you heard there everything will be tokenized <laughs> there's nothing more to say we're talking about every single thing of value in this world hundreds of quadrillions of dollars i can't even start to write how many zeros that is gonna be because that is hard to fathom the normal brain doesn't work that fast or that quick to find how big hundreds of quadrillions is going to be so this is the opportunity xdc has yes it has a utility yes it's solving a big problem and it's so big it's worth hundreds of quadrillions so how high does the xdc price need to be i think by 2030 like we discussed yesterday i think xdc could easily be a three digit coin and just before we continue to the next part guys i want to thank everybody for taking part in my live stream yesterday it was my first live stream stream and I really, really enjoyed it. The support was massive. I'm going to start to do more live streams, guys, every single week. I'm going to make an announcement a few days before so everybody knows. But I will start to do a live stream on a certain day every single week. Looking at a tweet from Cyprus. We're on the brink of a major shift. Oh, look, Andre Kosterman. Trade Finance XTC changes coming in a big way. So what do we have here? Will trade digitalization reshape? value creation in the trade finance industry of course it will with the mltr law passed in france this week and 100 more countries set to follow we're on the brink of a major shift what did i say to you what have i been saying to you for so many months now we talk about this on a daily basis mltr is going to start with the uk and then the rest of the world will follow because they want to remain relevant they want to be able to compete on that level playing field and the best thing is they're going to save a lot of time a lot of money right a lot of paper as well how much paper do they waste sometimes the paper's condition is so bad you can't even use it for whatever you want to use it for this is the ultimate solution and xdc because of andre customer i think andre customer has done so well with his experience with swift for 24 years i think he's going to lead xdc to success and it's already happening in real time the price will catch up guys don't worry about the price right now worry about what's happening utility is winning